Welcome to this video. This is the step-by-step -step guide for installing all the tools needed to start modding with The Witcher 3. So basically we will want to download some stuff first. This is the mod kit here. Then we need a fix for the mod kit, which you can download from here. We can then we'll download uh, this GUI for easier use of the mod kit. And we need the quick BMS file extractor from here. And to use this extractor, because that's a general app, we will use this script um, that has all the commands in it. We don't need this and this, but it makes life easier. So there's no reason not to use it. Next up, you will need a drive with at least about 100 gigabytes of free space. More would be good. Um, Go ahead and make a folder. Um, best thing as close to the root as possible. So this is directly on the drive for me. And then we go ahead and put all our tools we have downloaded in the folder here. Call it whatever you want. And then we get started by using the VCC light guy after. We extracted the tools here. We have to apply this fix here um, from this file. If we go to the downloads, um, go in the downloads folder and take this faster. This is the file we get from here. And we put this in bin x64 and override this file with it. So just put that in here and override it and then you will be fine. Otherwise, this process will take even longer. So we'll start the GUI, with which I already have. Uh, it's over here. So here we have commands. And we will use the uncook command. And then as an input directory, we will choose our game directory. This should be unmodded. So if you're not sure if you have mods installed or not, you should probably reinstall the Witcher. Um, also, you can copy it first to the drive because you will need it later anyways. But this process is way faster if you choose the original install. Like if you go from one drive to another drive, then it's like way quicker. Um, yeah, then you click run command over here and you will get a very long arc of stuff getting extracted. As you can see, this process took, because I did it from drive to the same drive about two hours. If you do it from an SSD to an HDD, then it should not take that long, maybe half an hour. Second, we will go to the quick BMS, extract it also here in the tools. Then you'll copy the script also in this folder. This is the Radish uncooked script here. Then we have to edit this also to the Witcher 3 directory and our output directory, as you can see here, and then run the script. This will take about 10 minutes at most. And then you have all the files in this folder, hopefully. And these are all the game files. So next, we take all those files, copy them, uh, go to our mod tools, our four data, and paste them in here. And that will take some time now because that's a lot of files. Also go ahead and copy all the files from the other extraction to the same folder. So for the next step, we will go ahead and probably download all of them, all of the rest of the files. Um, for the next step, we will need the Redif tools. Uh, we'll grab them from the download folder. Reddish tools, unpack into 
our for data. As that said, let's go to our folder, mod tools, R4 data, and pick this one in here, and we want to replace data this time. Okay, next we have the reddish modding tools. Yeah, there we go. Let's put this into our tool folder. Oh, I already have that in here. I'll skip that. And if we go to reddish tools, and uh, we have a uh, repo shadow meshes, and here we have uncooked the meshes. Obviously, we have to edit that again. Yes, and we need to set the directories again. This will be faster. Uh, let's just do it now. The mod kit here is the mod kit. So this one this here and the binary is the reddish tools so we put that here save and execute this will also take about 10 minutes so next off we will install all the tools we will need um, to use the in-game radish tools that will be the community patch base first so we just grab those and put them in here and then we get the registry that's this one put it in here then we want the full in-game bundle, put it in here. Overwrite everything. And then we should be good to go. Um, this is the test mod you can download. So we'll go ahead and Grab this in a new folder. We call this projects, maybe. Put this in projects. Then there's actually one more thing we need um, for later steps. So we will do a new link, and this will link to our install. Uh, which are three game bin and there we go next okay then we edit it and we will put in minus debug scripts at the end and save that and maybe call it like if script So now we'll test the last part of this trial, if the mod downloaded will work. So first of all, we have to go and edit the settings of this mod. We want this to be a release version, so instead of set, we have to write rem here. So this line will not get read, and we also have to set our path correctly. So this to our game path, this to the mod tool again, and this to the reddish tools. We save this and close it. Then we have to create the links and uh, press yes. I have done that already, but there should be no mistakes here. Otherwise you have made something wrong and wrong and have to repeat it. And for the last part, we will uh, start to launch the game in the background so uh, we go full rebuild and run that this will take a moment as well also we can check what this quest actually does so we will launch the quest editor 
and here we can see the whole quest. So it starts here at the inn, and officially first we have the inside the quest area, and then that will go to this show corps segment, and we can then see after this. Oh, it's not a segment; it's just a okay. Uh, it will show everything in this corpse area, and yes, as you can see, there will be other things happening and we will just experience that in game. So how can we figure out where this quest area is? You can see this is inside prologue quest trigger. So we go to the definition.quest and there should be a layers prologue. And we open this and then we can see there are layers and they are in the world prologue. Um, like that's the normal naming for layers in prologue, the layers in island. So prologue is White Orchard, and yeah, we will go to White Orchard and figure out where these layers actually are. So let's grab a new game as well again. Okay, let's go to Take White Orchard. We finished all the pop ups. Okay. So, <coughs> we don't have the quest in here right now. But we can go to Wake Offert and check over here at Hort. So now we want to press F9 of the Regis tools, and here we are in the quest layer mode. If we press F12, we will have some key bindings. Um, I'm gonna read them, don't need them right now. And with S, we can now go to Entity Search Mode, and we can see this is our quest layer. Um, if we close this window again, this visualization will go away, but we can make our lives a bit easier. Select it, press it. Now it will be shown in the game, and we can walk around with Control F9, and there you can see the area is still here. So let's walk in the area, and now our quest should have been triggered. Somewhere over here? Yes, somewhere over here. There you can see. Mm. We also have audio and Try music. Flee. Bleeding heavily. Cause of death, stab wound. Played between the ribs, straight to the heart. Looks like a secret passage. Guess I gotta investigate. So we have a quest log for this now, and we have also items from this quest, and here are the blood stains on the floor, which you could have followed from the beginning of the quest would have Ground been here. With blood for a few feet around, a lot of it. So actually we can do it in the wrong way around, because we have already investigated this area and found him, obviously. So. Let's go to the portal and use it. This also only works if we have the key. Uh, we can go in here now. And as you can see, we are now in a new area. And this is the end of the first trial.
See you again in the next trial.